Well, good morning. This is Jeff Foliage, and we're on Route 28, and we're up near the heading into Wolfboro. And this is a little bit of the view that we're seeing. Um, colors haven't been perfect, as I've been saying over and over. And maybe you can, the uh, camera will bring this in a little bit better. You can see the far hills here. This is a uh, scenic turnout above Route 28 heading north into Wolfboro and um, this is the <laughs> this is the 19th of October and uh, I'm up in the white uh, south of the White Mountains and in the lakes region Winnipesaukee where we normally would be at this time if not further south into Massachusetts the uh, plain facts are that it's been a hard year. This has not been, as I've been as seeing in my comments, and uh, you know, people are uh, very a little unhappy. Some are ecstatic. They found better color than they've seen, but it, for those of us who are somewhat experienced, I guess I could put it, um, this is uh, not a good year. This is, uh, if you're looking in the right place, it was not too bad. But anyways, uh, I'm going to continue up around the Lakes region. We will continue exploring what color we do find out here. And um, we will go and uh, uh, we'll see what else we find today. I'll take you along with me. As you can see, there is a little bit of color. Um, this is the uh, the scenic view. There's not a lot to it, <laughs> and uh, we will. Uh, I want you to have a great foliage day. I know there's not as many of you up here as there usually is, but um, the uh, travel it's a little easier. Not as many people. Uh, I like it when it's not so peopley. <laughs> My new word, not too peopley. Okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, it's the 19th of October still. We are at the uh, Castle in the Clouds, but just below it. And we're on Brook Road, which is a one-way road, which will lead us around and uh, back out right into uh, where Castle in the Clouds is. It's uh, a couple miles, the entrance to it, past the exit um, for or the entrance to uh, Castle in the Clouds. I'll let you take a look at this here. Um, the road takes you past the Falls of Song. And um, you, know, you might want to take this little road. It's nothing to write home about, but it is paid. So that is a good thing. Let me do this. Okay. There's a nice boardwalk. Right on up. Lease is up there. There's another trail that is way above this. The color today has been decent, but there's so many areas that are not. There's this trail right up there. Um, <laughs> I tried it. It was not uh, something that I want to try again, and I did not do the whole thing. But it comes all the way down to that walking bridge that you see down there at the end. Okay, we're going to head up to Meredith and uh, take a look around, maybe get a little lunch from Meredith. Um, and then we're going to be heading slowly home along the eastern side of uh, Lake Winnipesaukee. Today is all lakes region. Um, you'll see lots of pictures. There'll be a uh, crescent pond. There's going to be uh, some drone footage, a little of everything, and um, you'll see some really pretty pictures, I think. Um, I don't know if you got out uh, up here this trip, 
probably most of you are very glad if you didn't. Um, but all in all, I said uh, uh, somewhat facetiously that you know a uh, a bad day of New England fall foliage is better than most others most other days elsewhere. Um, I don't know. I'm really enjoying this day. This is uh, maybe not the best fall foliage day I've ever had, but it's a really good drive that I took. And I'm out in nature. And sorry to say it, but that's sometimes all we're going to get is the experience of being out here. And that's half the battle. Get off the couch, get out of that recliner, and get out of the car and go for a walk. Okay? We'll talk to you again later.